Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Panini Donruss Elite Football. Four box random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com, all card chip. A lot of nice stuff here. Good luck everyone. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a four, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got Zach all the way down to Justin. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, maybe Eric. All right, we got Cleveland Browns down to Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys. All right, so Browns down to the boys. We got Zach with the Browns and Packers, Adam with the Titans, Mark with the Raiders, Nick with the Texans, Adam with the Panthers, Russell with the Chiefs, Zach with the Vikings, William with the Saints and Jets, Adam with the Falcons, Barry with the Bears, William with the Bengals, Barry with the Seahawks, Joseph with the Eagles, Chris with the Broncos, Nick with the Buccaneers, Arthur with the Chargers, Zach with the Cardinals, William with the Dolphins, Michael with the Commanders, Zach with the Lions, William with the Steelers, Chris with the Bills, Zach with the Rams, Michael with the Niners, Zach with the Giants, Nick with the Patriots, Simon with the Jaguars and Ravens, Joseph with the Colts and Justin with the Dallas Cowboys. Let's see, let's get this on. All right, so let's sort by column A by team. Try to get all the teams on the same screen here. There we go. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So here on Wednesday, the 6th, 2023, random team two. Okay. Oh. Are we out of ink? Too many breaks, I guess. Let's try one more here. We're out of ink. How is it? We're gonna pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're gonna have a new printout. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Printer issues solved. We got some nice, fresh ink loaded up in the printer. And now we're ready to roll here on break two. William with Last Bot Mojo Jets. And let's see. Let's see what we got in these four boxes. Oh, you know what, man? Let's post the next four box break. So if you're watching live, the next four box break will be the last um, will be the last four boxes of that case that we popped open. However long ago that was. This is break three, and so the next one should be loaded up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's pop these guys open. Let's see what we got. Looks like these all have their pro uniforms on them, so that would be nice. Got Dodgers in Miami. They're in the top of the fourth, and Jason Hayward just unloaded one and puts one in the seats. He's two for two, a single and a home run. Cycle watch.
Lefty on lefty too, off the of lefty. Third home run in the last eight games. The, uh, the latest Kid Reporter cards here. We'll save those for some kid. All right, and away we go. Good luck, everybody. There's uh, Julius Brents to three ninety nine. Ooh, we get more blanks too. We need, we need more blanks. And Colby uh, Wooden to nine ninety nine for the Packers. And our first hit is Kyle Pitts, Epic Materials Relic to 375. That's for Adam in Atlanta. You got Russell Wilson to 399 for the Broncos. We got it to 99, Spellbound, Justin Jefferson. Not sure if we can, if we can make Jefferson across those four boxes. I like getting, trying to make the names, but that might, might be a little difficult. That'll go to, uh, that project will be for Zach and the Vikings. We got Will Levis, nice, to 149, Tennessee. Adam Copperman. Could be the future at that QB position. Tesson Bennett the fourth, 999, and a Jaron Hall. Pen pals on card autograph for Zach and the Vikings. Skull. Nice. And another Pen Pals autograph, that is uh, rookie Dalton Kincaid. For the Bills, that's for Chris M. Buffalo! You got the purple ink going as well. Jason Dominguez, they found it in the mixer. Where's Don Kincaid? He was, yeah, he was a late first round pick for the Bills. Nice. C.D. Lamb to 99, Dallas. Jimmy Garoppolo to 149. Hmm, that Muncie defense is going to be an issue in the playoffs. Although that was a tough play, I think, right? And we got Tua. That's gonna be a hard one to get in four boxes. Yeah, it's gonna. No, he should have got that. We got a Sean Tucker die cut to 99. Uh, Buccaneers. Josh Jacobs at 399. Good to have him back on the squad. And 
next box. Yeah, they there was a uh, on the Fanatics live stream. They uh, we were we've been working on a on a pretty big baseball mixer for a little bit. We were hunting uh, a couple of the boxes in that baseball mixer includes a chance at chasing some uh, Jason Dominguez Bowman first. And it sounds like they got one. Been marinating there for a little bit. Football season starts tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Lions at Chiefs. Who does everyone have in that game? Now, without Kelsey, who hyperextended his knee in practice the other day, Kansas City is minus four and a half. I think the line started at minus seven. Does Travis Kelsey really represent that many points? I guess no Chris Jones as well. He seems unlikely. Key part of their defense. I, I was able to uh, to find a, uh, a marketplace where, uh, where I was able to uh, invest on the fortunes of Detroit at plus six and a half. So I feel pretty good about that. Eric, Eric saying Detroit straight up. That that's a hot take. That's pretty bold. I'm comfortable with the points. Yeah. So is Nick. Nick Galvin saying Lions and the points. I'm comfortable with that as well. I've got a single unit on that at plus six and a half. To win outright, uh, that would be that would be pretty interesting. What's the uh, just to win? What are what's the market say on the line just to win? Plus one eighty five, so almost two to one. There's Aiden O'Connell to four to nine ninety nine. How many games does Aiden O'Connell start when that inevitable Garoppolo injury happens? Here's elite coverage, Trayvon Diggs. Two eighty five out of two eighty five out of three seventy five. For the boys, that's gonna be for Justin, the Cowboys. We got Miles Sanders. Who's a Panther now? Went from a bird team to a cat team. Here's Chris Jones, just talking about him. Uh, oh, and that's Anthony Richardson, nice. Jared Goff to 399. Jared Goff for the Lions. Here's a nice Anthony Richardson rookie on deck card, which I think look really sharp. For the Colts, of course, that's going to go to Joseph. Spellbound, Justin Jefferson to 349. Adam Thielen, who's also uh, a cat team now, on a cat team, goes to Adam and the Carolina Panthers. We got full throttle Raheem Mostert to 349, Dolphins. Certainly is possible. Certainly is possible. Probable though? I don't know if it's probable. Possible for sure. The O and the F, yeah, you got the O and the F, but they were different numbers though. Here's uh, Mark Andrews to 399. We got Zach Evans to 99 die cut. Got a CJ Stroud blue for the Texans, 67 out of 99. That will be for Nick Galvin. There you go, Nick. CJ Stroud is on the road facing the Ravens. Tough task on the road. Ra uh, Texans are plus 10. We've 
There's a Deontay Banks at 399, and we've got a Josh Downs rookie autograph, 13 out of 99 for Joseph and the Colts. There's Darnell Washington, 999. And for the Vikings, Jaron Hall. Green ink autograph. Another one for Zach Sullivan and the Vikings. He is a QB fifth round pick. Out of BYU. I do not, Eric. I didn't do the first uh, the first break. What's the case hit? out of the leap. That video should be up. You can always scrub through that and see what's going to see if we did or not. All right, Riley Moss will go to Denver. That'll be for Chris. That is two out of 37. All right, two boxes to go. Wow, what a catch. For the third out, Jason Hayward, have a day. He's got a solo shot and probably saved two or three runs. Are Kabooms an elite? I don't know. Check cardboardconnection.com. Now I'm curious. No, I don't think Elite has kabooms, but I don't know if there's like a traditional case hit for this. I'm sure there are some shorter printed ones here. So I'll officially, if you go to the break schedule, there's a Joe's Picks tab for entertainment purposes only. Um, there, there are my picks, and I'm going to post my official, I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I'll post my official picks that I got locked in the other day. Uh, I went a little overboard, as I usually do in week one, because hope springs eternal. Uh, I did mention that I, I, I was able to lock in Detroit plus six and a half. And I'm on the better side of the number for what it's worth. Um, so my, I've got five main plays at two units apiece. I've got the Falcons, minus three, short home favorites. Carolina obviously has a room. There, there's a trend where number one overall quarterbacks week one uh, only one has won, uh, has covered. One in seven, I think. Although, interestingly enough, in week two, that number one quarterback pick is like seven and one in week two. So just kind of following the trend there. Uh, my other two unit play, so slightly bigger plays than some of my other ones. I got Cincinnati plus two and a half. Uh, I think they're hosting Cleveland. No, I'm sorry, other way around. Cincinnati at Cleveland. I miswrote this in my spreadsheet here. Cincinnati at Cleveland. Cleveland's a short home dog at plus two and a half. Short home dog, divisional dog at home. The trends are good there. The other pick, two-unit pick that I wish I would have waited on, this is the, the risk of playing, making your plays too early. No Cooper Cup. The Rams are in Seattle, plus five and a half at Seattle. 
And then I've got Giants plus three, another short home dog, Sunday Night Football. It's another two-unit play. And then we've got, I've got Jets plus two and a half, another two-unit play, Monday Night Football. I'll share some of my one-unit plays in the next box, but let's go through this first. There's Trent Simpson to 399. And we've got a Mac Jones to 375. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive coordinators and different coaching setup. And Mac Jones does this here. I feel like the jury is still out on him. That's going to go to Nick Galvin and the Patriots. It's Trent Simpson. Tajay Spears to 9.99. Jamar Chase to 3.49. I think just for just for fun this season, I'm going to try to make five picks per week at uh, as my sort of favorite five faves. Joe Jackson's five faves, and then some other plays that are just lesser plays, one unit plays, which will most likely include uh, what I like to call island games. Right, the primetime game, Thursday Night Football, Sunday Night Football, Monday Night Football. There's Zay Flowers and Jordan Addison. Nice. I've got him stashed away on my bench on my fantasy team. That's for the Vikings. That's another Viking for Zach Sullivan. He's going to play opposite of Justin Jefferson, pretty dynamic player out of USC. He might, he might be able to contribute right away if there's attention taken away from, uh, from him. Say Flowers another receiver sleeper as well, but I feel like Ravens don't run as much, or they run more, they don't pass as much, so that might not be. Here's a turn of the century. Isaiah Foskey, 83 out of 99. Yeah, Nick says he's gonna be a stud, Jordan Addison. I like the idea of Zay Flowers, get some more top layers here. I like the idea of Zay Flowers as a, um, as like a DraftKings play because I feel like he won't, he shouldn't cost very much on DraftKings. And I feel like, and I, but I feel like he could be like, a, he can give you that home run play just because of his speed. Uh, there's, a, that one's for the Saints, that'll be for William. The purple Dominguez of the hobby. I know, we heard. Auto? Yeah. Ooh, out of what? Out of the hobby of 2020. Nice. No, no, but like number? Yeah, the 250. 250. Wow. And that was that. That was just marinating for days. Yeah. It was Miles Garrett marinating? Who got it? Do you remember? Yeah, customer purse. He had a couple stocks. Purse collector? Yeah. Nice. Dexter Lawrence to 149. Dexter Lawrence for Zach and the Jets. We got star status Tyreek Hill, 15 out of 99 on that for the Dolphins. Could be a big year for him. That's gonna go to William. And the final box coming up. Jason, J Jason Hayward, Jay. Yeah. Solo shot, give the Dodgers lead one nothing, and then the bases were loaded with two outs, uh -huh. and there's a long fly fly ball that if it went off the wall, it would have scored like three runs. Jason Hayward makes the catch, yeah. just just makes a great defensive play. Great for like it's been saving, a yeah, dollars. seriously, for nothing. I think bet minimum, and I think the Cubs are paying the rest of his salary, yeah, because they had like released him or something like that. Release him. They have like half the salary or something. Yeah, they were talking about Josh Hamilton, I think on the, or not Josh Hamilton, one of those older guys. He's getting, I think he's like the highest paid rep. 
on the team or, or top five because he hasn't played there in how many years. Oh, no, that's it. That's just bad management. That's what happens to bad teams. And then there, he's, he's old like 15. Oh, no, 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 not him. What was his name? The, dad was, the big dude that hit a bunch of home runs for the Orioles. Then he got popped for like PD. What was his name? Um, a few years back. Oh, it's gonna bother me. My lesser plays this week, ladies and gentlemen, I got Houston plus ten. Indy Indy plus four and a half. I don't like that anymore. Cardinals plus seven at Washington, Green Bay plus one at Chicago, my Raiders plus three and a half in Denver. Those are my other plays. Houston's at Baltimore plus ten. Indianapolis is hosting Jacksonville. Those are my lesser plays, so that's why I did. Some I don't, I'm not liking anymore, but that's what happens. I'm going to try teasers this year a little bit more. Using more of a mathematical, more of a system, but I've got a six-point teaser going at, uh, at one unit. And I've teased Cleveland up to plus eight and a half, Pittsburgh up to eight and a half, Green Bay up to seven, Rams up to 11, and then Jets up to eight and a half. So we'll see how all that goes. Just having a little fun for entertainment purposes only, you know? Oh, Chris Davis. Chris, oh, I remember Chris Davis. Yeah, he, he's, he's getting paid six million dollars a year wow. for them. Here's Patrick Sertain, autograph, impact impressions. 37 out of 149 for the Dolphins. That'll be for, that'll be for William. Cameron Latou to 999. It's because he has a 15-year, $42 million contract. Jeez. He's going to get $2.8 uh, two, two million dollars every year up until 2037. 2037? Yeah. Jeez. There's Lamar Jackson to 399. Full throttle, Chase Claypool to 349. I would rather be baseball. Would you choose baseball over football? Yeah. If you were like a superstar. Yeah. Right? Because you get Easy. everything. So much, so much you get money. All your money. Guaranteed. Right? No matter what. Super long. Con you just have to grind out like first six years of making nothing. Yeah. But then once you hit free agency, all that money is guaranteed. All those years are guaranteed. You know. I think I would too. And then you're, you can play like, you can play until you're 38, 39 years old. They'll still pay you. Yeah. And you know, you're not taking hits on your body at 38. I mean, the season's a grind. It's like a lot of travel, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I was just saying, because, like, you know, Kyler Murray could have been one of those guys that probably could have got paid in both, but he got paid early in football, I guess. He did, but how much is that's guaranteed? You know what yeah. I mean? Is that goat bound a case hit? I don't think so. Or maybe it is, actually. In addition, Cardboard Connection is saying... In addition, there are case hit inserts that spell out the player's name letter by letter, including goat bound. Good eye, Nick. Oh, they're gonna make you. <laughs> they're gonna make you spell out Joseph Clifford Montana Jr. Oh, that's quite a search. But you got R from Junior. <laughs> Niners, that's going to be Michael. Michael Gellis with that one. Good luck. It's Tucker Craft to 99. Stetson Bennett to 9.99. And you got Sean Clifford, rookie autograph for the Packers. That's going to be for Zach. Yeah, the case hits inserts that spell the pitch for is GOAT bound, Lombardi bound, and MVP bound. It's only three players. It's uh, Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, and Patrick Mahomes. So GOAT bound is Joe Montana, Lombardi bound is Peyton Manning, and MVP bound is Patrick Mahomes. There's Tajay Spears. We got Colby Wooden to 999 and throwback thread Big Ben Roethlisberger, 52 out of 375.
piece of his jersey going to William and the Steelers. You know, Eric, a great resource if you want to do some research, CardboardConnection.com. They pretty much have like a little write-up or a blurb for every product that comes out. And I just didn't do the research, but but um, that resource will will give you an idea of whether there are case hits or not. There's Devonta Smith to 94. Uh, Zach Charbonnet to 149. Oh, and, and Nick saw it on the sell page on Jas Nice, on Jaspies. There you go. We got Devontae Adams to 25 star status. And that, my friends, is the break. 2023 Panini Donners Elite Football in the books. I was four box Ram Team 2. The final four boxes are in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Quick little recap. Sort of a sneaky long break. Just So that's the case hit right there. Sort of a sneaky long break just because there's so many. Nice Jordan Addison. There's a lot of things to sleeve up. A lot of parallels. So there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.